Hi, greetings to you in the precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Once again, it gives me a great privilege and honor to bring the Word of God to you this day. And uh, we were focusing on Luke chapter 1 verses 35 yesterday in our devotions. And I would like to continue to uh, read from Luke chapter 1 verses 35. Uh, the Bible says very clearly that the angel of the Lord answered unto Mary and said, the Holy Ghost shall come upon thee and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee so that that which is born of thee shall be called the Holy Son of God. Now, very interesting to note that, that the angel of the Lord answered Mary and gave her the secret behind what was going to take place and how she was going to supernaturally give birth to something that was already decided and ordained by God. So Mary had to come in alignment with the purposes and the will of God in that time and in that season for her life. And that was going to be possible only through the Holy Spirit. So we've been uh, really meditating on yielding ourselves to the Holy Spirit, how we can allow the Holy Spirit to overshadow us. So when the Holy Spirit overshadows us, I believe there are several things that takes place. One of the things that takes place is that the overshadowing of the presence and the power of the Holy Spirit in our lives causes us to die to the flesh and to be yielded to the Spirit. So the more we spend time with the Lord, the more we yield ourselves to the Holy Spirit, the more we meditate on His presence, the more we bask in the glory of His presence, in the power of His anointing and His Word, I believe that there is such a tremendous release of the presence of God into our lives that it begins to overshadow our life and it overshadows our character, overshadows all the tendencies of the flesh and all the temptations and all the things that we struggle for in the flesh. So which is why the Holy Spirit had to overshadow Mary. Mary had to die to her flesh so that the Holy Spirit could work through her and cause her to come to a place of total surrender and yielding to the presence of God. Now, that is what the Lord wants us to do in this season as we seek Him, as we pursue His presence. That this last month of December, it is my prayer that the Holy Spirit will overshadow us. Let me tell you something, there's nothing that is possible or nothing that is impossible with God. And all things are possible through the Holy Ghost. And that's why we need the Holy Spirit. So as the Holy Spirit begins to overshadow us, I believe that there is a separation that takes place from the realm of the natural and there is a connection into the realm of the supernatural. So as we are separated from the realm of the natural, we often find ourselves being hated by our own friends, being neglected and rejected by our own family, being sidelined by community, sometimes even religious groups, because we have been overshadowed by the Holy Spirit to an extent where God is in complete control of our lives. And we yield ourselves to the Lord to an extent where we allow Him to lead us, to move through us, to speak through us, to work in us a work that is totally supernatural. Now, no science or biology can actually give a definition or an explanation to how Mary gave birth to a child without the help of a man or the seed of a man. Now, that is why the Holy Spirit in us is so mighty and powerful that he can do some supernatural things in us as we allow him to overshadow us. And as Mary yielded herself, I believe the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, the power of the highest overshadowed her senses, overshadowed her behavior, overshadowed her language, overshadowed her character, overshadowed her emotions. And the Holy Spirit 
spirit was in complete charge of what was going to happen in her life from that day onwards. Mary had become the vessel now to carry the very seed of God. And I pray that you will understand that even as you begin to get separated, there is a separation that happens. No doubt, when the Holy Spirit comes upon us, when the power of God begins to grow in us and overshadow and, and grows to a place where we are overshadowed by His presence, there is a disconnect that happens. You don't do the same things that you used to do before. You're more focused on the Lord. You're focused on serving Jesus. You're focused on letting His will and His purpose be accomplished through you. And, and as you get separated from the world, there is a place in the spirit the Lord leads us to where we become intimate with the Lord. We walk in obedience unto the Lord. We are in a realm of intimacy and obedience with the Holy Spirit where only yielding to Him and obeying His voice matters more than anything else. What a place to be. And that's exactly where Mary was as she said to the angel. She did not question the angel, but she looked at the angel and said, be it done to me according to your word. And the moment Mary uttered those words, the Bible says, and the angel of the Lord departed from her because there was no need for the angel to continue to persist with Mary to try and explain to her the supernatural phenomenon. Mary did not go on to ask more biological questions. She did not ask how and when this will happen and, and what will be the process inside. She said, let it be done according to your word. Sometimes we need to just trust God for his word and not question the supernatural process behind it. As Mary yielded herself, one of the things she realized was the angel gave her a divine instruction. In fact, the angel never even said that you need to go to the place where Elizabeth is. She said, even your cousin Elizabeth is pregnant with a son and she is in a sixth month. And she knew that Elizabeth had conceived supernaturally for they were called a barren couple in that land. And when Mary realized that the supernatural word that she received from the angel was not just for her, but it had also occurred in the life of Elizabeth and Zechariah. The very next verse in verse number 39, it says that Mary went to that location. Mary changed her geographical location. She was now connecting herself to a location and a geography where people could connect with her, especially Elizabeth and Zechariah. Because the supernatural phenomenon that was taking place on the inside of her, only they could understand because they also experienced the same supernatural power of God. Sometimes it takes us to go to a place where we can connect with like-minded people, connect with people who can understand what the Holy Spirit is doing inside of you. And when that happens, you are in a place where you can relate and you can understand and grow in the supernatural things of God. So I'm going to talk about that a little bit more tomorrow. But as we wind up for today, in this morning's devotion, I want you to know something that the separation leads you to a place of intimacy and obedience. The intimacy and obedience leads you into a greater place of surrender and sanctification. And sometimes you may have to be separated from the world for a season till you give birth to that which is of the Lord in your life. Maybe you're watching this morning and saying that I've received a word from the Lord for a worldwide ministry. I've received a word from the Lord to conceive. I've received a word from the Lord to start a business, a, 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 a firm or a company. I, I've received a word from the Lord to start that a charity work, whatever it is, I want you to know something, that trust the supernatural power of God. Allow the Holy Spirit to overshadow you. I mean, these things must take place. If you're filled with the Holy Spirit and you're still stuck with the world, if you're filled with the Holy Spirit and still stuck in the same sin and bondage, then you've not allowed the Holy Spirit to overshadow your life, my friend. 
In fact, when the Holy Spirit begins to overshadow your life, every sin, every bondage, every darkness in your life begins to disappear. You follow after Jesus. You pursue after the presence. You are a Jesus lover. You are a presence carrier. You love the presence of God. You are in that presence day in and day out. You'll do anything to be in the presence of God because you know that what you have experienced is something that is very valuable. And God is calling you to that place this morning, this Christmas season. I pray that you will reach a place where you will experience the glory of God, the overshadowing of the presence of God in a supernatural way, my friend. May God bless you and have a wonderful day even as we celebrate the season where we celebrate the birth of the Lord Jesus. And may the glory of God be released into your life and may you grow in the abundance and in the grace and the mercy and the favor of God in the season like never before. I want to pray for you. I pray and I bless you in the name of the Lord. May the Holy Spirit overshadow your flesh, overshadow your character, overshadow your nature, overshadow your senses, overshadow your thoughts. May the Holy Spirit hover around you. May you be filled with His grace and glory to an extent where you will not need anything else you will be high on the most high and you will walk in a new dimension this season the holy spirit is in you he is upon you he is with you in this season god bless you and see you again tomorrow for another powerful devotion from luke chapter 1 verses 35 god bless you